Today we're covering type 5 secretion system and we're using Helicobacter pylori as the example of a bacteria using type 5 secretion. Okay, so now let's take a look at how this works. First, let's take a look at the protein that will be secreted. Uh, it has an N-terminal, a passenger protein, and a C-terminal domain. First, the N-terminal binds to the SEC protein in the inner membrane, and the entire protein is then transported out to the periplasmic space. Um, the N-terminal is then cleaved and is left behind, and it's only the passenger domain and the C-terminal that continues. The C-terminal will then create or form a beta barrel in the outer membrane. Uh, in this uh, illustration the beta barrel is already uh, illustrated, but you could imagine it like this blue part here uh, creates a beta barrel that the passenger domain in red can then travel through. And after that the passenger domain is cleaved from the C-terminal and it's then out in the extracellular space where it can where it can have its intended function.